Let's discuss another example of a Markov chain. This will be the SIR model. Let's actually put a question mark by this. I've said it's an example of a Markov chain, but that requires some comment. This is a model in disease dynamic. A disease is spreading through a population, and a person could be in one of three categories. They could be susceptible to the disease, so they don't have it, but they could get it. or they could currently be sick with the disease, or they could be recovered and, you know, some diseases grant immunity after recovery. So let's assume that this disease is one of them. So we have finitely many categories. Let's simplify things by assuming that people can switch or not switch, as the case may be, every day at midnight. This is obviously a false assumption, but it seems like a pretty harmless one. If your model says that someone got sick at midnight, but actually they got sick at 8 p.m., who cares? That seems like the kind of minor error we can probably ignore. And just so we're entirely clear about how this model works, people who are susceptible could stay susceptible if they don't catch the disease, or they could catch the disease and become infected. People who are sick could stay sick, or they could recover. People who recover stay recovered. There is nowhere else to go from here. So this is our perspective, Markov chain. In many situations, however, this wouldn't be one. Are the transition probabilities fixed? That's the big question. If the answer is no, this isn't a Markov chain. And in many cases, the answer is going to be no.
Plank, consider the current epidemic, consider the COVID epidemic. When COVID first came to America, there weren't any cases in Shadrin at all. There was nobody who could infect me with COVID, so my probability of transitioning from susceptible to infected was zero. The disease spread, and that changed. Chadron started seeing cases of COVID. Suddenly, I was interacting with infected people, and my probability of going from susceptible to infected was no longer zero. In other words, my transition probability changed. That means that Markov chains are not an appropriate tool for studying the COVID epidemic. There are times, however, where the Markov chain is an appropriate tool. That's going to be when the disease is not spread through interpersonal contact. Like, I've seen papers use the Markov chain to study disease and illness that spread via improperly sterilized barbering equipment. This was in Ghana. And you can think of the transition probabilities there as being fixed. I mean, if I go to a barber once a month or whatever, we can think that I have a constant probability of being nicked. And that probability isn't changing over time. So there are situations where it is appropriate to study the SIR model using Markov chains. Those of you who have taken differential equations with me, or who will take differential equations with me, will see more of the SIR model studied using the tools of that class.